Holy mother of God. What happens when you take and get some of the most powerful magicians in the DC universe together? The uh, wielders of magic and dark magic and all that kind of stuff together. You get Justice League Dark. Wow. This animated film is the second time around now DC has labeled a movie rated R. I was like, holy mother of God. Batman the Killing Joke? Unbelievable was rated R. And now this one was rated R. Justice League Dark is unbelievable. And it's all about the comic book review for this week and we'll start right now. I am your host as always, Joseph Michaels, The Adventurous Joe. And I will tell you right now, Justice League Dark, ever since I heard they were making an animated feature out of this and stuff, I was waiting, anticipating it. I could not wait for it to come out. And when I saw the final trailer for it, I just said, that's it. I'm getting this film. I'm, de I'm getting this film. I'm going to watch it and I'm going to review it. Wow. Unbelievable. Zatanna, Constantine, Etrigan, Batman, not the Justice League themselves. It's like un fucking believable fighting against dark forces using the powers of magic and light magic, dark magic, all that kind of stuff. It was just fucking awesome. Oh, God. Much like the comic book series Justice League Dark, it is exactly that. Constantine puts together a team of mm, Zatanna and Dead Man and so on and so forth and just makes an amazing crew that fights the powers of darkness and stuff like that. Something that Justice, the Justice League themselves, Superman and them, can't really fight against. And it is an amazing film. I mean, for an anime that is based off of a comic book, a lot of time, you, an animated film that's based off a comic book, excuse me, a lot of times you cannot get that kind of accuracy and stuff like that. Now, when it came to Batman the Killing Joke, people said the biggest hang-up with that was the whole Batgirl story, backstory thing being involved, her having sex with Batman, and so on and so forth, okay? None of these things ever actually happened in Batman the Killing Joke graphic novel. Now, Justice League Dark, on the other hand, a lot of stuff that's happening in this animated film is exactly what takes place in the comic book series as well. And Justice League Dark just has that dark tone to it so much between the violence, the sexual themes, and so on and so forth. The, the language, it had to be labeled rated R. I was shocked as fuck when I heard that was going to be rated R. They Every time I saw the trailers, there was no rating for it yet. No rating. I says, okay, that's strange. And then I go to pick up the copy of it, and it's just like, it's rated R? And I'm looking at it like it says, for language, sexual situations, adult... Blah, blah, blah. I was like, holy fuck! <laughs> Whoa! And it is exactly that. It has adult themes to it. It has language, violence, and so on and so forth. And dark undertones. I meant seriously dark undertones. And you would not think that DC would do this kind of stuff except in their own comic books. Well, surprise, surprise, they did just that. Now, I have to tell you right now, I'm not going to tell you any spoilers about the film and stuff like that. You want to see it for yourselves, I'm going to tell you right now. My final judgment is going to be a 10 out of 10. I normally don't do this for these kind of films and stuff like that, but Justice League Dark was just great as hell. I meant seriously, great as hell. Especially Etrigan. Oh, God, Etrigan! I loved him ever since I saw him in the Batman animated series and stuff like that. And bringing him again back into 
Justice League Dark, it was just like, yes! That demon rocks! <laughs> he kicks ass! <laughs> He's just like, oh, you wanna fuck around? <laughs> it's like, yep, I'm out of here. And Zatanna, woo! I thought my little, when I see Zatanna cosplays all the time and stuff, from our Cosplayer Force members that have done them, or cosplays, cosplayers that aren't members of the Cosplayer Force yet and stuff, other cosplayers do it just great. When my little sis, uh, Mia, or otherwise known as Anna Mia to all of you, okay, did her version of it and stuff, it's just like the comic book compared to how she does it and stuff like that, It, do, it, it it's like it does no justice for it, okay? But, in this mo animated film, Zatanna is hot as hell. I mean, seriously, hot as hell. And in the comic books, she's all, she's got that hotness, but when you see her like this, it's just like when I seen her in Young Justice, and I was just like, <whistles> she's cute. She's very cute. Either way, Final Judgment is going to be a 10 out of 10. Two thumbs up. High recommendations. Check out Justice League Dark for yourselves. If you have to, get it on Blu-ray, okay? Get it in the Blu -ray, special edition Blu-ray combo pack thing, okay? You get an exclusive Constantine figure with it. I was like, an exclusive Constantine figurine with it. It was just like awesome as hell. It's a little expensive, but it's awesome as hell. Either way, you can also check out the movie on Amazon Prime. You can check it out on Netflix. Anywhere it's carried, you can check it out. It is great. We're highly recommending you check it out for yourselves. And that's about it. So, what are your thoughts? Do you, if you've already seen Justice League Dark, I want to discuss it down in the comments section down below. Don't forget to like this video. Subscribe to our channel if you're new. Hit the little bell icon and the subscribe button to make sure you get notifications activated for when we put up our next comic book review or any other of our reviews or shows up on YouTube. And... I'm on the comment section, people. Opinions are a lot like assholes. Everyone's going to have one. Don't fight amongst yourselves. Don't call each other names and shit like that. Everyone's going to have a different opinion, even of me, okay? People will always say I'm a fucking retard. I'm a whiny bitch. All this other mm, shit. That don't mean crap to me, okay? You're entitled to your opinion about it. You could be a fucking dipshit asshole about it, but it don't mean shit to me. So... To you. Okay, either of the way, that's it for this episode of the Comic Book Review. I have been your host as always, Joseph Michaels, The Adventurous Joe. And our next comic book review, we're going to be checking out Star Wars Volume 4, The Last Flight of the Harbinger. Holy mother of God. Can you believe what this story entailed? Well, you're going to find out about it on our next comic book review. Don't forget to like the video, like I said. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And to all our new subscribers that have joined us, bravo and thank you for joining us. We've got a lot in store coming up and so much more up on the horizon for 2017. And leave your comments, people. We always want to hear from you. doesn't matter what you got to say. We always want to hear about you. Okay? Either way, that's it. I will see you all next time on the next comic book review. Until next time, enjoy reading more comics. If you got comic books or anything you want us to review comic book related, leave it down in the comment section down below or let us know on Twitter at KingOpList1977. That's it. We'll see you all next time on the next new comic book review. Later. <laughs>